Here's a thought. Stop being the expert and become the interpreter. You know, I saw a video recently on this and the takeaway is this. Once a client, in other words, a seller, buyer, or borrower, has hired you to represent them, you've probably already established your expertise and now your role becomes the interpreter in the process. In other words, become a valuable resource. This is your world, they're just playing in it for the moment, so interpret the process, the environment, and how it all may or may not affect their transaction. Give them guidance, keep them informed as to the next step, and what, when, and where, what to expect. Then it's easy to find additional ways to help them and supply them with information before they ask. So here's an example. If you walked into Best Buy to buy a new monitor, let's say you pick one out, you find the right one, and the salesperson takes you up to the register and rings you up, then you go home just to find out that no cards came in the box with the monitor, and now you've got to go back to Best Buy and buy those things in order to make this monitor work. Kind of sucks, right? Second scenario, the salesperson sees the monitor you're buying, tells you that this monitor only uses an HDMI cord and it is not included. So they grab you one and say, this is the best one, you'll like it. And they say, you want me to ring that up for you? Now you're going home with the cord you're gonna need and wouldn't we all prefer the second scenario to the first because now you don't have to run back and you know exactly what to expect. It can be very valuable to a client when someone can help and will help them get information faster without researching in a timely manner. By being the interpreter rather than just the expert, you gain more trust and let them know exactly what is needed and it's much better than just showing your expertise because you show them you care. So you can gain a reputation this way for excellence, that you care for them, and that you put their needs first, and that you're a true customer service oriented person. And that's why they're gonna refer you over and over again to their family and friends, because they trust you. Now, for minding your own business. Today, let's talk about closing gifts. Many of you do that, right? I'm sure you do. And they're always greatly appreciated and accepted. But are they memorable? Do people, does it stand out? Moving beyond the basket of rare spice packets, teas, goodies, one will never use in the basket and probably never buy again, it can be a difficult task. What do you give them of value that they're gonna hold on to for a long time and remember you by? Well, you may have to get creative and find a good source. It's personalized, it may take a little pre-planning so that it's timely. One universal gift idea that's appropriate and everyone appreciates is a great outdoor welcome mat with the family name on it. It's that type of gift that's gonna get you remembered, feels personal, not something that they're gonna do for themselves, and is a meaningful thing coming from you, the real estate agent. We have a list of great ideas that fall into this category, plus the sources for most of them. If you'd like a copy of this list, send us an email or give us a call. We'd be happy to get it out to you. That's this week's Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for joining me again. Have a great day.